Gotta love Connecticut hockey sat down with Rob O'Gara, defenseman for the Hartford Wolfpack. Rob played four seasons at Yale University before embarking on a pro career with the Providence and Boston Bruins, New York Rangers, and now the Hartford Wolfpack. Let's start, you know, way back when. How did you get into this sport? Oh man, so my dad grew up a big hockey fan. He got me into it young. Uh, my first skating lesson, I was three and a half. Um, my mom has the footage, mostly being pushed around in a chair because I couldn't stand up, but uh, ever since I've just been in love with it. So flash forward a little bit, take me through your college experience with Yale. Best four years of my life, uh, not, no exaggeration. Uh, I told my mom I'd get that degree and it was, it was great to be able to play such high class hockey while doing it and we were able to have a lot of success. We were to go to the tournament three times, lucky enough to win the whole thing. I mean, just mind blowing that we were able to do that. So uh, it was just an incredible experience. Not sure if this is a good time to tell you this, but I attend Quinnipiac. So 2012, 2013, just talk about that season. I mean, obviously it culminates in that national championship. And for, for any of you who don't know, Yale beat Quinnipiac. So, so I'm gonna let, let, let Rob talk about this. Uh, so, I mean, they had a really, really good team. Um, and I think for us, it, we just clicked at the right time. We beat Colgate in overtime with like half a second left. And if we don't score that goal, we don't make the tournament. If Notre Dame doesn't win their conference and we don't make the tournament, there was like a hundred different things that needed to fall into place. And then we had no business beating Minnesota, North Dakota, <laughs> Lowell, or Quinnipiac, but everything kind of just went our way. Uh, so fortunate to have that experience. I guess that's just how the sport works sometimes, that's huh? That's the beauty of the game. All right, so flash forward a little bit, spent time with the Bruins organization. Now you're here with the Rangers organization and the Wolfpack. Moving around as a hockey player is is not uncommon for anyone. So what has that experience been like for you? Obviously it's just the Northeast for now. Sure. What's that been like? Uh, it's nice that I've been able to keep it in that quadrant of the country, but it's crazy. It, it, your whole life can change in a second. And you just gotta be able to kind of go with the flow. I remember I was in Providence, I was getting ready to practice, and they said, hey, you're going to New York. Just kind of being ready for anything, kind of always Always putting your best foot forwards. I mean, if the opportunity isn't here, it could be there. And making sure every day we take advantage of our time and you know work as hard as we can to get to the next level. What is the underlying factor that's driving you to stick with this lifestyle and, and kind of follow a dream? I mean, I'm, I'm playing hockey for a living. It's it's incredible, and it's been my dream since I was a kid to play in the NHL. Um, and I've been lucky enough to play some games, and it's just that hunger to get back there. What are the biggest differences between you know? The, top level at the NHL and here here at Hartford. Sure. Uh, I, everything is just a little quicker, a little more polished up there. Everyone's in the right spot and you know, down here there's some more moving pieces and some things might be a little more crazy at times and you just got to be able to say hey, and kind of slow things down almost because guys at the next level, everyone is pretty good at slowing things down uh, when they need to and then playing at the highest speed in the world. What, what are the biggest perks of playing pro hockey for a living? Oh boy. Uh, just growing up, Playing was enough for me. Like I, I enjoyed it. It was just such a joy to be out there with the guys in the locker room, and, and like I said, winning is just a feeling that it's unparalleled for me. Being able to do that and get a paycheck is just—it's, I mean, it's mind blowing at times. You have a lot of free time to fill, and uh, you know, you learn to do other things. You know, pick up some hobbies, stuff like that, and you kind of have the luxury of being able to do that. So, um, and see new cities. I think that's a really cool thing too. Seems like. Money's not the only factor for you. There's certainly a passion there. So what fires you or, or uh, keeps, you, keeps you rolling on all cylinders? I just enjoy playing so much that, I, and you know, it's, it's also making people proud. I think that's, that's a big thing for me. Like my parents, my whole life, you know, they've given me everything I needed to succeed and all the right, you know, advice, all the resources, everything. And whenever I'm, whatever I'm doing, if I was in an office somewhere, I, I would want to make them proud doing that. And they've given me everything to be a hockey player and I want to show them that I can, uh, I can do that. I guess here's your pitch. Why should youth hockey players from around here come watch you guys play? Oh boy, it's fun. It's, it's pro hockey right nearby. You know, you'll, if you gotta travel to New York, Boston, it's, it's right nearby. It's, it's pro hockey and it's really good.